Okay, guys, we're back with five things we learned. Porto 3, Manchester United 3 in the European League Cup. Guys, I need your help on this, guys. I need you to tell me we're on five things we learned. I'm going to hit up those five points. And if you have more things that you want to put in, in, uh, in this uh, short video, please get involved. Drop the, your, your, your comments and please click the like on the video. Look, let's start this very easily with, with our manager, the guy who is on the hot seat. That's Harry Ten Hag. You know, guys, I have a question for you guys. Do you think Eric Tenak wants to uh, to stay as Manchester United manager? I'm not saying that he's the one making us to lose games, but do you think, uh, because I think from the body language I saw on Eric Tenak, I think this man has checked out. I think the only reason which Eric Tenak is the manager is because he, I think he's in a, in a position where he says, okay, you guys should sack me, I need to go. And I'll tell you guys why. Be one of the reasons is the... The way he surprises us, the way he made his lineup. Look, let me go straight to the point. You want you the club has been searching for Ogate, right? Manuel Gate. We've been trying to sign this player the whole summer. You want to say Eric Tena works against that? Why did we want to sign Ogate? Because we needed energy in the midfield. We go away from the from uh, Old Trafford, and we need an energetic midfielder. And Ogate doesn't even have a second in the pitch. So I don't understand. That is how those are signs that the manager doesn't give an F. You see what I mean? So I mean I was honestly watching this video in a cafe, in a bar, yeah, in a pub, right? As the Brits call it. And I had this feeling, where is Ogate? I thought he was not even in the bench. But he was on the bench sir, and he wasn't given a minute. So Eric Tenag taking out changing defenders. I have never seen such a football game where defenders your two central backs have changed and in a team that was not in a game that was 90 minutes. So I just think with my friends, I think Eric Tenag has checked out. I mean, I think I think he knows that maybe after the Villa game, if he draws or lose, he will be sacked. So Eric Tenag, I mean, I even have a, I have a friend of mine who texts me and said, this guy's this guy's body, this guy's soul is not in Manchester any longer. So tell me what you think about that, Eric Tenag. He has been doing things that I don't really understand. The guy has checked out in my view. But let's go to the good, the good news. The good news is Harry Maguire has shown some resilience. Not only with the goal, mostly with the attitude. Because some of you, who, if you have a low football IQ, you just rate players from scoring goals, players from defending, players from you know doing all those goal celebrations. But if you look at football in a more mature manner, the certain things they are not even attached with the football team that you, that enhance the, the player's image. I think Harry Maguire being a previous captain, being downgraded, I think he's the fourth central back coming in, not because he scored the goal, but his attitude in general has been more encouraging than the goal he scored. Don't get me wrong, I was over the moon. I was over the moon when he scored that goal, Harry Maguire. But I think he's... Um, he is not the kind of player that can lead Manchester United, that can lead your club to win a trophy or to win, uh, 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 to win a, a title or the Premier League. Harry Maguire could not help us win, but yesterday, in general, he had a good game. He was my he was my man of the match. He was close there with my man of the match, alongside with the goalkeeper. I think both of them had the seven in my ratings. I think because I mean, without that goal and the goals that also. Uh, uh, the goalkeeper uh, saved it would have been a different morning today we're talking about it so tell me what you think about Ari Magwe I, I mean big big up to this player it's more, I played football one of the biggest section if your kids are playing football if your friend wants to have a career it's up here the moral go and ask, ask Samuel Leto I talk a lot about Samuel Leto because I started my career with him go and ask and he will tell you that he is very strong I have huge respect for this guy Harry Magwe since then let's go back with some bad news the bad news was this guy, the guy which uh, actually obviously uh, uh, Delete. You can see from this picture that Eric Tenag wasn't happy with Delete's uh, performance. He wasn't. I mean, this is a guy which he break the bank to bring from Manchester United. Eric Tenag himself was like, what's going on? Delete did not have a good game. I think Delete, the best you could say for Delete was a 4.5 below 5. I think I gave him a 4, 4.5 or maybe a generous 5. But look, Delete wasn't good in this game. Tell me what you think about Delete. He has been good for us this season. Look, in a season, if you can have a 60-70% good um, um, performance in a season, it's a good season. Nobody except your Maradona 
nobody has a, a 90 percent in the season nobody even Messi there were times where Messi is acquired but I think there is an issue here uh, and this is not a Premier League I think Delit has to communicate better with his defense he was good also in this game somehow but generally he was found out by a very physical uh, attacker the, the Porto attacker the guy who scored basically two goals How do, what's his name is it Suma or whatever I don't know but anyway so Delit I think Delit was one of them uh, not the the better side of uh, part of the game another person which we need to talk about a lot is not delete is this guy uh it's not harry Maguire. obviously it is bruno fernandez honestly bruno fernandez guys was that a red card on bruno i think the second yellow card was not the yellow card even the first one was not the yellow card we have been talking about VAR a lot in the past years, that VAR will come and help referees. But, I mean, VAR seems to be, um, it, it seems to be a myth. If the VAR look at that, if you and I, let's put it this way, do you give yellow cards for intentions or you give yellow cards for results? Because if it's intention, even those who touch the touch balls in contact, right, both of them have the intention going to the ball. So when you miss it, it means you want to break their leg. So I think uh, it's been a very difficult uh, week for Bruno Fernandes. But as I said in the league um, and the game, our previous game, it might also be a blessing. I think we should use, unfortunately, Scott McTominay is not in the pitch. He's not in Manchester United. But I think we should use Ahmad in that central position. Someone who is very unselfish, who is good to keep the ball. Aman might just teach Bruno how to play the number 10 role because I guess Mount is um, ill. And guys, you know, because we drew and the biggest problem we have in Manchester United, the players you watch, the players you buy their t-shirts, the player you adore, is that they have a very low mental um, uh, capacity. They are so weak mentally, so I really don't think they'll bounce back. For the game against Villa, I think it will not be as easy for Villa as people think. It becomes easy for Villa if they score in the first 10, 15, 20 minutes. But uh, I think Manchester United, you'll be surprised how compact United will be in the game against Villa. Eric Tenak will go there with a very defensive team and will have to win them on the break. Uh, yeah, that is my view against uh, Villa. I think Manchester United will go really hard on Villa. It will be a counter-attacking team for us. And if Villa... We let them the ball, we go on counter-attack. I think we can easily come there with some kind of result. Bruno Fernandes is a player which I think Bruno Fernandes... To be honest, if Fernandes continues this way, this should be his last season in Manchester United. If you are viewing on this channel, you agree with me. I've been saying since I was for Manchester United selling Bruno Fernandes since two years ago. Not because he's a bad player, but because Fernandes doesn't have the capacity in order to play possession football. Well, I rolled back my comments a bit in the finals that he could play, but he cannot maintain it. If you want to talk about Fernandez, look at the, the guy who played 10 for Spain national team, Olmo, right? Davi Olmo. I wanted Olmo. Yes, he's 70 million euros, that's 60, but he's a playmaker. We can keep the ball. He's very unselfish. He's not about scoring. It's about letting others play. Um, don't just get me out with the Zexi. I won't talk about Zexi, but I, I look... Zex's performance for Manchester United since he came this season, he might be good next season or by the end of the season. But for now, he see, he looks like a junior team player for Manchester United. Obviously, he is overshadowed by what is going on with Manchester United. So, uh, with the team. So, let's talk about this guy, Marcus Rashford, who which all the press, the English press are talking about. Oh, why was Rashford very placed? He was the best. He scored the goal and also gave... Uh, a decisive pass for a goal for uh, Rasmus Holland, which I will not talk about him. Ras Rashford, for Rashford to be a complete footballer, he has to be defensively uh, active. Rashford isn't active. Look at this. We are playing with a left back in Dalo because we don't have a left back who is struggling because he's not a natural left back. And we have also the guy playing in front of him, Rashford, who is so selfish, who cannot give a shit coming back. So it is very difficult. How do you expect that side of the pitch to function properly? So it's, uh, that, it's something which, guys, if you have, I don't want to say if you have a brain, if you have a football brain, you must have seen this better. Anyway, guys, I wanted the video to be 8 minutes. It has gone to 10 minutes. These are my five things I saw in Manchester United. Eric Tenak, I think he's out. 
he's very convinced he will be sacked. He needs that. I mean, I don't want to say he needs. He's just waiting when they're going to give him his 70 million pounds he leaves. I don't think he... I think he, the, the journalists have pushed him to the wall. He's just like, anything that happens, happens. Marcus Rashford, which I think needs to build up his game. No matter what manager comes to Manchester United, either Rashford and Bruno sold or the same thing will happen. Also, about Magwe, I applaud Magwe's uh, strong uh, uh, mind. Uh, he has a strong mental position. And uh, talking about Eric, uh, Eric Tenna, we have done that. And um, uh, yeah, Delete. Delete should be careful because if we do have a new manager, he might not fancy Delete. Delete has an issue with speed. I can tell you about speed because I didn't have that speed. Anyway, guys, smash a like on the video. Tell me what you think. What was the five things you learned? Uh, in this game there are a lot but we'll talk about it as days goes and uh yeah uh with that all said guys please uh talk to you soon bye bye